Unfortunately for you, your health is looking low too. Hello everyone and welcome once again to the Month of Independence. Today on the agenda is Hand of Fate 2. Apparently a game about cards. But that's about all I know about it. Besides the fact that it seems to have some kind of combat as people are playing cards on a table. It'll make more sense when you see it. I hope I will be able to figure it out myself. Your memories are fading even now. Gone to form the soul of the game we play. These pieces are new, as are the stakes. Life, death, and vengeance. We must ride, for time is short, and you have much to learn. Make your first choice, and let us set these wheels in motion once more. Huh. I have to choose between the woman and the man. I'm not sure where to go with this. Well, let's just go with her. Because why not? She's got a wolf. Gotta go These with the wolf. cards represent your history and our game. We know where they end, for you are here. Therefore, these cards must guide you to my side. Let us see what the journey holds. I see. So, it's like these cards represent... The steps into nothingness. Because they know no better. In the same way, you must step into the void. You are a blank slate. And together, we will write your history. Okay. Forest ambush. You've stumbled many miles through this forest in search of the thieves who robbed you. Though exhausted and hungry, you are determined to reclaim your father's amulet. You finally catch sight of the thieves hacking at a large tree and arguing amongst themselves. Move closer to eavesdrop. Success. Every element of the game has been improved. Even those that seem at first glance familiar. I see. Do not worry. Good. You will soon understand the nuances. Okay, I had a one in fourth chance of losing that. Creeping forward, you overhear their leader spouting orders. It simply says, The idiots walk down the road, you push over the tree and jump out. They'll be too scared to put up a fight and we'll get rich. Why don't we just jump out and stab them? One retorts, another hooded figure chimes in. Yeah, corpses don't put up a fight either. Frustration rises in the leader's voice. The Empire doesn't care if a few farmers lose some sprouts, but drive a corpse to the Royal Road, and the place will be filled with soldiers before you've even spent the coin. We don't need that trouble. Now quiet, here they come. You spot a group of farmers coming around the corner, bringing their wares to market. The thieves fell the tree to the path of the unsuspecting farmers and leaped out. Weapons brandished. Give us all, our, all your food. Leap to the farmers' defense. Offer to help the farmers, warning them it won't come for free. Help the thieves with their extortion. Offer to help the farmers, warning them it won't come for free. I mean, you gotta survive after all. We have no gold, shrieked the terrified farmers, but half our crop is yours if you protect us. I agree to this. The thieves eye you nervously. The farmers look at you, hopefully. Except... You draw your weapon with practice skill. I mean, I'm gonna expect something for it, but I'm not going to extort them like that. If this is what they're willing to give, then it's acceptable. Well, you hear the leader's voice. You lads handle this. I'll meet you when you're done. A little bit of food? No problem. Let's see if this is where the combat part of the game comes in. I assume it's not all just drawing cards and Hoping for the best. There's some combat involved too. Or maybe it's all turn-based. Thug. Violence for the sake of violence, and theft for the sake of money. Thieves attack frequently and can evade standard attacks, making heavy weapons less effective. Okay, block break, space evade, control run, finisher. Neat. Okay, this is real time. I wasn't sure. Take this, you dirty bastard. This is what you get. That's what you get when you mess with me. I already killed one of you. you sure you want to do this? Farmers, 
Lend me your assistance. I can't do all of it by myself, or maybe I can. Maybe I should actually learn how to defend myself, too. Although, just a bunch of thugs isn't really a problem for me. At least I got some food out of it. Forest ambush. Supplies gained. With the brigades dispatched, the farmers turn to you. I hope your price doesn't prove too high. If the next harvest comes short, we'll starve regardless. Okay. Your satisfaction lasts only a moment before you realize your father's amulet is not among the takings. You consume one food. Their leader must still have it. You sit to your feet, determined to find him. Supplies are always important. Of course. Find the leader of the thieves, retrieve your amulet. This is the only thing that I can turn to. A friend in need. While enjoying a moment beside the fire, you spy a strange figure approaching your camp. It's a goblin, dressed in what must pass for goblin finery. From beneath a filthy fox pelt serving as an ill-fitting wig, the goblin winks at you with wild red eyes. Aha! I've been roaming around for hours trying to find you. We must get this over with quickly if I have any hope of getting to the people on my list before sunrise. It lowers the sack from his shoulder. Now, from within my sack, I can conjure whatever your heart desires. The goblin's voice trails off as he examines his sack. Well, I could if there wasn't a blooming great big hole in it. His head disappears entirely in the bag until his bulbous nose protrudes from the breach. A new plan, then. The goblin pulls out his last trinkets. Interesting. Warrior's axe, soldier's sword. Let's go with the soldier's sword. Repost. Against northerners, repost deals 150% damage. Neat. Oh, okay. Would you like to equip the soldier's sword? Sure. Thanks. A wise choice. Now I must go. There are many others I must visit before I can rest. What a nice goblin. The goblin runs off into the night, his fox wig flapping in the evening breeze. You can change equipment in the inventory. This is an interesting game, to say the least. Oh, I see. Neglected sword. Okay. It barely does any more damage, but it does do more damage, which I suppose is helpful. Finding forest folk. This card has a token. Can you find it? Okay. Your journey through a forest is interrupted by an inquisitive child. Are you searching for the forest folk? My uncle says that they used to walk these woods giving out gifts. I want to find one and ask for a lemon cake. As they dash off to peer under a nearby log, the child shouts back, Remember, if you meet the forest folk, give me a lemon cake. In the other direction, an eerie song hangs in the air. You attempt to find its origin. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, great, the one failure. You spend hours traveling in circles until night falls, bringing an unnatural silence to the forest. Well, so much for that token, then. Nothing could be more fitting now than meeting the mage who started this all. Or at least, started it all for you. The Royal Road, a trail of fallen trees and distraught farmers, leads you to the thieves who had stolen your amulet. It seems their infighting has only gotten worse. The bandits surround their former leader, weapons drawn. Everyone will get their fair share. There's no need for violence, the leader implores. Who ever heard of a thief talk about fair shares? Spitz one. You turn up and bosses around. You, we barely stabbed anyone. It's been days since I've stabbed anyone. someone days. Leader notices you and approaching and waves you over. As much as I'd love to continue the discussion regarding stabbings, I'm afraid I have urgent business with my associate here. As he greets you, he whispered, keep me alive and there'll be plenty of gold for your trouble. Tell him gold cannot replace the amulet he stole. Tell him he will pay in blood for his thievery. Gold cannot replace the amulet you stole. He holds up a finger. First rule of negotiation, never let them know what they want, what you want. Kill my associates and I will gladly return your amulet. Ever reliable, the thieves draw their blades to mug you. The leader hurries away to hide. I guess I'll fight. Give us your stuff or we'll stab you up. You consider your options. Hell no, I'm not giving you my stuff. You draw your weapon and prepare to deal with the miscreants. You're not getting my crap. You kidding me? I'll kill all of you. I don't care if I have to face an army. You're not taking my food. Especially when I'm not, not my gold and my food. I'm not gonna risk starving to death just because of a bunch of bandit assholes. Oh, okay. I should probably try to separate them out a bit. Ooh. Wait a minute. Damn it. There we go. That's one. One of them bites the dust. Oh, jeez. Come on. Separate them from the group. If I roll into them, that seems to work. 
He's green, that means he's about to attack. Maybe if I block at the right moment, I could repost. Oh, that works. I need to do that more. Oh, boy. Darn it. Not doing very good here, am I? But at least I kicked their asses. At the cost of quite a bit of health, though. Hopefully I regain that back. The Royal Road. With the band battle resolved, the thief leader nods in approval at the carnage before him. He holds out a hand. The name is Mala Sipli. Mala... Mala Cleeps. Bard Extraordinaire. His f smile fades under your withering gaze. Glare. Sensing your anger, he raises his hands to surrender. Wait, let's not be hasty. We're on the same side here, and I'm an upstanding citizen just like you. I've been working with the thieves, yes, but only for the greater good. No, really, they were killing people before I came along. I know it seems bad, but look, he pulls out the amulet from his pockets and presses it into your hands. All is forgiven, yes? You stare at the amulet. It does not look familiar. Oh? Malakleeb says, scratching his head. He opens a small satchel. So which one is yours? Choose your father's amulet. Hmm. That is interesting. Let's go with the pharaoh-looking one. Choose your father's amulet. Continue. The Sun King Amulet. That suits you. Very similar facial structure. Say, you know what? I'm lonely. You're lonely. We should work together. You have befriended... Befriended... Malak Kleeps the Trickster. We should probably get to know one another, seeing as we're going to be friends for life. Malak Kleeps says. Tell me, where are you from? I guess I get to choose my backstory. Wait, what? What's this all about? Oh, okay. Neat. What the? Okay. I guess I get to choose. Choose an appearance. Let's... Hmm. Those are some weird looking options. Let's go with this one. I guess that'll work. Huh. Hairstyle. These hairstyles are rather odd. Oh well, let's just go with the um, red. Redhead. That'll work, I guess. No, no. There we go. And of course, amulet. Choose an amulet. Choose an outfit color. Neat. Green and red. I love green and red. Finish. A spunky red head with green and red clothing. The Royal Road. From the Reach, eh? You don't say. Good swords from the Reach. Very trusting. Oh, by the way, I, I mean we, friend, owe money to Vignus of the Thieves Guild. He's quite angry at us. We should journey to Meyerbridge together to appease him. Some gold might help. Although, come to think of it, I'm rather busy. Malakleep's eyes a pretty traitor hiking up the road. So, it'd be best if you get the gold and I'll meet you there. What? I have to clean up your mess? Okay. Smaller pieces of our fates shattered into fragments. Collect enough, and your reward will come in time. You enter a competition of strength at a fair. A gold prize is available to the winner. In the first round of the competition, your opponent is the distinct is the diminutive Roland, a halfling from a traveling troop of acrobats. Target score. These dice grab, the are dice. another small game embedded in our game. Okay, I got ten. Exactly. Victory. You are learning. Roland is no match for your strength. He gives a disappointed backflip off the table and collects his meager winnings, then cartwheels out the door. You take your reward from the purser on the way out the tavern. When you return, you will compete in the next round for a larger prize. Neat. The roads have become even more deadly since the Empire has come to power. The Despite road their promises of the opposite. The road ahead is blocked by an overturned carriage and a woman calling for help. Please help, she cries. I've been robbed by a band of thugs. Is there anything you can do? Assist the distressed woman. I guess we'll see if I can get that target or not. Four. Okay, re-roll. Okay. Nine. Still way short, Dice unfortunately. Are fair. 
and thus you have lost this round. Why, thank you. Now, if you'd be so kind as to give me all your gold, the woman draws a pair of concealed blades from her corset. Come on, bout, boys. You'll have no time to react as a group of bandits spring from hiding. What a... What a diva. I ought to kill her, too. Okay. Let me try actually parrying this time. Might actually do me some good, you know? Hmm. My blade in hand. Every, every hero must have a heroic sword by their side. This, however, is utterly ordinary. What do you expect? Yeah. Bitch. Yeah. Crap. Okay, there we go. Gotta take him out one at a time. Gotta target the right ones. Crap. Come on. Now, finish off. Take this, bitch. Crap. Hey, buddy. Damn it. My timing could not be worse. Finish him off. Right in the spinal cord, or the shoulder, whichever works. As I learned from calm time, apparently a blade to the shoulder can be fatal. With the thugs defeated, you search their bodies for valuables. Oh, great. Eleven. Now we're getting somewhere. You find some food among their possessions. Neat. Some more food is always beneficial to me, I think. Celebrations in aid of what? Nearing the you sleepy. see how quickly the actions of the usurper are turned into tales for children. Sleepy hamlet of Dulwich, you find the villagers in the midst of some kind of celebration. Much of the activity concerns a large paper and wood statue depicting a fearsome warrior looming triumphantly over a prone lizard man. Ask the local about what is going on. A friendly stable man explains, in a bygone age, our town was beset by half men, half lizards. There was no food, no re... No respite and very little hope. Salvation came in the form of a nameless warrior who hunted the beasts for little more than a handful of coins and a crust of bread. He smiles warmly at the festivities. We honor the warrior like this. The statue is filled with food and gold and we take turns smashing it to bits with a club. You're welcome to join us and you may keep whatever falls out. Okay, I'll follow the crowd. The parade ends in the town square. You watch the villagers take turns smashing the statue with a club and gathering the food and gold that spills out. A local notices your interest and asks if you'll like a turn. Join in. Huge success. I have a chance to hugely success. Please. Failure. You son of a... You wield the club with all your strength, however the blindfold affects your balance, and you bring the weapon down on your own foot. Lovely. Jeez. Well, at least I only took five damage. I could have taken ten damage. Engulfed in shame, you leave the town of their celebrations and hope no tales are told to this day. What a douchey thing. Water, water is a symbol for the many thoughts that churn beneath the surface. Very. What is it you're thinking of? What concern is worrying at your mind? Let it fall into the waters beneath. It would be nice if I knew when it was safe to talk. When crossing a stone bridge, you suddenly find yourself confronted by a villainous band. You could stand and fight the fiends or throw yourself at the mercy of the river below. Stand and fight. You ready your weapon? Let's go with more combat. More action. I could run away, but that wouldn't be as interesting. Not to mention, I st I'm basically leaving it up to luck at that point. This way, at least, I have some ability. They look like zombies. Inflicted. The first touches of corruption bring forth the darkest elements of their victims. Infected enemies are feeble, causing them to become knocked over down when health is low. Use a finisher before they recover. It's like bandits. There you go, bitch. Ah, crap. Take this. Now take some of this. Some of this. Very nice. Oh, there we go. Finish him. Fatality. 
V Gaming Junkie wins. Fatality! Not gonna lie, this game is very fascinating. Very enjoyable. Having spilled your enemies' blood, you search the bodies for anything useful. Armory gain. And a shield or a warrior's axe. I've already got a pretty good weapon, but maybe I ought to... Damage 21. No, never mind. Go with the axe. I got a... I got an axe to grind. Let's go for the damaging move. Good fortune gain. 15 gold. Very nice. Now let's go for this. Here we come to the end of the beginning. Running errands for mages. This will become a theme, I dare say. Uh, no, no need. Just let me know when you're done. You arrive at Meyer Bridge as the sun begins to dip below the horizon. You find Malaklebs perusing a selection of cheeses by the market. Ah, if it isn't my good friend the adventurer. Did you bring the gold? Vignus has arranged to meet at the graveyard. Go to the graveyard. You wonder whether the spot was chosen for its seclusion or for easy body disposal. Vignus meets Malaklebs with a sly grin. Looks like he turned up after all, and with a lackey in tow. We had our doubts, you know. Vignus cracks his knuckles and giggles. Well now, Malaklebs, convince me. What's to stop me from cutting off your head today? You reveal your gold as Malaklebs scrounges in his pockets for some too. Heavy satchel of riches lands at Vignus's, Vignus's feet with a thud that echoes through the silence of the cemetery. That's our deal done, Malaklebs says, uh, worry obvious in his voice. No need for further troubles. I'm sorry, Mal. Vignus grins. You should have known the guild was never going to let you pay with cash stolen from other members in the first place. Wait, what? I guess we gotta kick his ass. That's fine with me, man. You wanna throw down? I'm gonna throw down. All over your freaking face, man. I just beat a bunch of infected. You think you're gonna be a match for me? Oh. Treacherous and greedy, a dangerous combination. Anarchists throw flaming bombs that cause fire damage. Your armor is no use to you here. Fantastic. Oh, boy. Maybe I should try to go for him first, or not. Oh, jeez. Bad timing. Bad timing all around. I need to check for when they turn green. Like that. Damn it. Freaking firebombs are a pain in the ass. Okay, finish. Ah, shit. Son of a. Oh, crap. Come on. Here we go. Ah, shit. Maybe I should take out his minions first. There. Now it's just you and me, big guy. Frick. My health is low, though. At least a little bit. Unfortunately for you, your health is looking low, too. Get executed, mother fricker. Get executed. Without your men to help you, you're nothing. Dead drop. Malakleep scratches his chin thoughtfully. It seems you could do with someone savvy to help you navigate these tricky matters of diplomacy. Like maybe killing everyone wasn't the best idea. Come, let us discuss our partnership over an ale or two. I am a fool, clearly. Well done. You have cleared the first challenge. And now we can move on to the next. Hmm. Cardinal Blade. Oh, I get both of them. Bastion of Purification. Neat. Market Thief. Tarts, Pies, and Exotic Lies. Fork in the Road. Arm Wrestling. Ella Cleaves' his Problems. The Trickster. Nice. A peasant's Son. This has proven to be a Welcome very Welcome to my challenges. Together, we will traverse 22 paths of wisdom and despair in the hope of awakening. Yeah, this has proven to be a very entertaining game so far. The Magician. Nothing here is coincidence. The answer to every question is in the cards, if you but look. I see. There's only one so far. Okay, companion. I see. Encounters. A fiend in need. Right. These are cards. These are ones that I've already completed. 
Lose gold for every empire killed. I see. Avoid him. Fair enough. I guess that means if you kill anyone. How the? Let's just go to the campaign. Or not. I have no idea what this is all about. Prepare to fight corrupted. Lose gold for... Okay. Start. One or more of your decks has insufficient cards. Fair enough. Malakleep's problem. Sure, let's go with that. Oh wait, I need to add more, don't I? Bastion of Purification. I don't know what that does. Let's just add all of them, I guess. Oh wait. Since I already completed these, I should probably go for ones that I haven't completed yet. At least as a start. There. Okay, everything's full now. Crap. Okay, start. Let's see about this. A casual call to heroism. How many adventures start thus? The magician. Better than the fool. For 100 years I have thought about nothing but the game. I was defeated. It is true. I became complacent long before then. I thought I knew everything about the game and what it could be. Now you see before you the extent of my research. I have crafted this game anew. Your conversation with the fur, fur trader is interrupted as Malakleeps arrives in a flurry. The whispers speak of trouble at the edge of the Empire, the town of West West Wind is suffering against the blight. Head to West Wind. You return to the markets and ask if any traders headed to West Wind might need an escort. There are three options a stone mason, a food wagon, or a weapon smith. Weaponsmith might be good. Your arranged an uncomfortable ride jammed in among the many tools of a weaponsmith headed far west. Warrior's axe. Nice. Give me that axe, man. You, you arrive at the town of Westwind to defend the town. You'll need to locate as many Empire soldiers as you can before the blight invades. Yeah, that makes sense, I guess. They place themselves in these dire positions and then expect a hero to come rescue them when things become too much. Hmm. While patrolling the outskirts of Westwind, you hear the clash of steel and the unmistakable groan of corrupted. Your investigation leads you to a distressed nobleman perched on the roof of his carriage. Thank the gods, I was headed to tea with the Duke Geller Gilbert when we were ambushed. My footmen left me here to fight them off, but the brawl is now dispersed into the forest. The noble peers fiercely, fearfully at the tree line. If you stay here and protect me, I can pay. Go out to the soldiers. Accept the offer. I'll help you. Oh, great maker, thank you. You linger near the nobleman's carriage in case the corrupted reappear. Just beyond the trees, you can hear the blood-curdled screams of combat. Screams and shouts echo long into the night. You wait, but no soldiers return from the battle. The nobleman cling, climbs the side of his carriage, curls into a ball, and sobs uncontrollably. He will not be moved or roused. Return to Westwind. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to end this here. But it has been very interesting. It has been very entertaining. I might very well come back to this one later. It's definitely caught my interest. And it's a very unique type of game, too. Using cards and uh, dice rolls and th other things of an RNG value, but then you go into combat and then it goes from there. So, in the meantime, that is it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video all around like the cards of destiny. And I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. Peace out, have a good one, and have a nice and pleasant day. If you enjoyed the content and want to stay up to date, I upload 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every single day. You can also subscribe and hit the bell icon or just check out the end screens right here.